Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Come with me. I'm going to get some apples off our tree. They're really big apples. I hope you guys like these apples. Um, and uh, I'm out and about today. I'm tired uh, doing our tasks. You always have a lot of tasks. And I'm going to show you my apples. Oh, here's one. Big apple, isn't it? Ah. Uh, anyway, we got a bunch of these. Ours are from our neighbor's tree. <laughs> they always say that whatever comes in the yard's neighbors, we can have, right? Anyway, she doesn't mind. It's a great neighbor of ours. Uh, we're going to have is uh, mango steam, and uh, she's just getting ready to cut it up. So I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I'll show you my caribou out here in a minute. So. Did you already cut it, darling? Okay. No. Okay. Look, we'll see. called mangosteen? Mm -hmm. Mangosteen? No, pomelo. Pomelo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is... Stop that one, friend. Pomelo. Uh, pomelo, sorry. I made a mistake. It's not mangosteen, it's pomelo. When you open this one, be careful that your knife will not go through the the fruit so when you cut this one open just make it slice like little then you just use your uh, finger to open this one because if the knife go through them was this the, the fruit, fruit yeah the fruit itself uh-huh it will taste better yeah it gets bitter so you need to just make line just for you to easy to open cut it like you're cutting an apple yeah like that but you need to be careful that the knife will not go through there. And I'm telling you, it's thick skin too. Yeah. It's like a, I, I tell you, it tastes like a grapefruit. And this tree right here produces some of the best I've ever had in my life. And I've had these all over in town and out. Uh, in Dabo, Dabo. It's very nice. This in Dabo because it's seedless, uh, seedless pomelo. These have seeds in it, right? Yeah. If it's it really ripe, it will become pink. We had this. We had this uh, last year. We probably sat outside. I sat on a tree stump, and we probably had four or five of these things, about half this size. Yeah, you will just put some line so that it's easy for you to open, but be careful not to go. Hey, don't break the. Yeah, it makes it bitter once you break that seal there. Yeah. We'll and she's right. I can't. Uh, it's a big coconut. Coconut. <laughs> mangosteen. Mangosteen. I thought I think it was a mango. I thought you guys said it was mango. The mangosteen is the small one. That is that the purple one, right? Yeah. Okay. Purple, pink. All right, I got pink. I got it confused. Sorry. First mistake this year. I didn't ever say I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why in the world I would even think that was a mango thing. I just told you there's pomelo there. No. Oh. I'm like you, I didn't listen. That is? Yeah, it's true. It's like this. Alright. So when you then that just Just peel all that stuff off. Mm. All the uh it's just uh it, you know it's it's orange, it's like a citrus flavor. It's some of the best I've ever had in my life. Uh, this is my favorite of all the, the fruits they have here. All right, so as you can see, it's kind of the thick skin on this. Okay, as you can see. My wife is opening it up. Just use your finger. Yeah. Just so that it will not be bitter. Pa it. Pa it. Bitter. Like pa it. Melon. Horrible taste. So this, yeah, pomelo. This is not mangosteen. This is pomelo. I had it all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and really. It's like a big apple. 
It actually uh, reminds me taste of a uh, white grapefruit. Th this one, if it's really ripe, ripe. Yeah. It'll be pink. Yeah. It's need to be. This pink. probably needs to stay on the tree another uh, week or so, or two. But you can eat. It. Well, they say you can eat it. This one is sweet now, but not really sweet, sweet. Yeah. For now, it need to be pink. Can you get it apart? I'm going to get that bad boy. I'll get it open. What's that? So I don't know. So I hear a car coming down the road. All right. Meat. And what you eat, you take the skin and you eat the inside this. And you eat it with salt. Rock salt's the best. So you take it off and you peel that back. And you eat it's like a, like a grapefruit wedge, and so that's it. I so, so that is uh, palmetto. palmetto. It's getting ready to call it mango stain again. <laughs> there you go. Mango stain. This is not mango stain. There you go. That's it. A little taste, you just take a little salt, dip it in there. I like rot salt better. This is not really doing. So anyway, you take a little salt and you put it on there and that's it. That's pretty good. Actually really good. Got citrus taste to it, a little salt. Sweet and sour kinda. It's really good flavor. And guess what? It's our neighbors. <laughs> so they they don't mind um, and good thing about this there's probably another 50 or 80 on that tree or more so you get hungry and you actually go out and get a snack how can you beat that here in the Philippines and if you get tired of that you can go get a coconut in the tree right here which we've done many times and you can get a banana off the tree if you need to and not only that papaya a mango, mango's right there uh What's the one in the front called? It's like a star fruit. I forget the name of it. Makopa. 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 All right, there you go. So there you go, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please hit like.